Hi everyone, today I've come outside to show you how to do some amazing bubble art. First you need a jug of water, you need liquid food colouring, a spoon, a straw, some paper, a container, you can have up to four of these if you've got four different colours, and a washing up liquid. If you don't have food colouring you can use water down paint as well, it works just as good. The first thing you need to do is put a little bit of water in your container, not very much. And then you need to choose a colour food covering. Now I think I might go for blue, it's my favourite colour, I'm going to choose that one first. And you're going to pour a little bit in your water. The more food colouring you put in, the brighter colour you have. Next, you need to mix it up so that all the water goes a really nice blue. Liquid, pour some in. Okay, we mix it up with a spoon a little bit, then we're going to use a straw to blow the bubbles. Take your straw, and we're going to blow into it. Okay, it's going to create some bubbles, and I'll try and show you what you're doing. it was a little bit too pale so I put a lot more blue food colouring in to make it a really deep blue and my bubbles are starting to look blue as well. Start to get some big bubbles that need to come to the top of your container. Now the wind is popping some of mine so I'm going to keep blowing them and then when you get them all at the top you then need to place your piece of paper straight on top of it. And then I push my piece of paper to the bubbles and then you lift off. And have some bubbles transfer to your piece of paper. Just like this. I'm going to put them in other places and I'm going to let my piece of paper dry and I'll have my bubble art. I'm going to try a different colour. The colour I want to try next is purple. Now I need to go to use two primary colours to make the colour purple. Do you remember what they are? Well, I'm going to use my blue and I'm going to use my red food colouring. That's what that looks like. Right, and then I'm going to mix it. I'll try and make my purple colour. Okay, so here's my purple colour. I've started to blow the bubbles to make the bubbles come up to the surface. I'm going to keep going for a little bit longer to make as many bubbles as I can. I have lots and lots of bubbles on the surface. Right, let's get my piece of paper. It's already got lots of blue on it and I'm going to push it down. make as many bubble art patterns as you can. And I've just stuck with blue and purple. And if you look closely, you can see the bubbles on my piece of paper, which look very cool. Okay, so my bubble art is starting to dry. And these are the really, really cool patterns that you should be able to start to see. It's all dry now. now I wanted to add a bit more detail, a bit more colour to mine. So another thing you could try if you don't want to use the containers is if you've already got some bubble mixes with the things inside, you can put some food colouring in there. So I have decided to put green inside mine and I'm going to blow the bubbles using the tool inside and see how that very green. So here I've had a go blowing some green bubbles. 
Tuna, let's see what that looks like when it dries. Have a go, let's see if that works for you. Maybe you can create a rainbow bubble piece of art. Or maybe you can just do one colour. Or maybe you could do all of them. Have a try and see what you can create. I hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!